Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over how to convert between minutes and seconds. This is a viewer requested video. I always appreciate those requests, so be sure to leave yours down in the comments. The first thing we need to remember to convert between minutes and seconds is that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Using this information, we can get what are called conversion factors. First, we'll divide both sides of this equation by 60 seconds. So, on the left, we'll have 1 minute, which I'll abbreviate M-I-N, 1 minute, divided by 60 seconds, and I'll abbreviate seconds S-E-C. Then, on the right, 60 seconds divided by 60 seconds is 1, so this is equal to to 1. We can do the same sort of thing again, but this time divide both sides of the equation by 1 minute. So on the left, 1 minute divided by 1 minute, we have 1. So we can kind of continue this string of equalities. On the right, we have 60 seconds divided by 1 minute, so we will write exactly that. 60 seconds, put that bar there, 60 seconds divided by 1 minute. Again, these are both called conversion factors because we can multiply by them in order to convert from one unit to another. Notice that they are both equal to 1. So if we multiply something by them, in this case we're talking about time, so if we multiply by these conversion factors, we won't change the amount of time, we'll just change the unit. So let's go through a couple of examples to see this in action. So let's say we are asked to convert 350 seconds to minutes. So let's write that here, 350 seconds, and we are converting this to minutes. All we have to do is multiply by one of these conversion factors, but which one? Well, we want to get rid of the seconds unit, so we need to multiply by this conversion factor, because this conversion factor has seconds in the denominator, which means that our second units are going to cancel out. So let's see that work. Multiply by 1 minute divided by 60 seconds. All right, we'll just move this over to the left a little bit. What is this equal to? Well, we see we have the seconds unit being divided by another seconds unit, so these seconds will cancel out. We also have 350 multiplied by one minute, that's just 350 minutes, so this is equal to 350 minutes divided by 60. Get this line to straighten out, divided by 60. Because remember, the seconds units canceled out, but we still have that 60 there in the denominator. Then, all we have to do is divide 350 by 60, and we will be home free. 350 divided by 60 is approximately, so I'll need that uh, approximately sign, it's approximately 5.83. So this is approximately 5.83 minutes. So, to convert seconds to minutes, all you have to do is multiply that amount of seconds by the conversion factor that has seconds in the denominator. Effectively, all you're doing is dividing the number of seconds by 60, and then that is the number of minutes that it is equal to. All right, now let's do an example where we are converting minutes to seconds. So let's say we are asked to convert 6.2 minutes to seconds. And let me bring our conversion factors down so we can look at them for this example. I'll just copy and paste them. This is the magic of technology. Paste those conversion factors right there. All right, so let's go ahead and write down our number of minutes we're working with, 6.2 minutes. In this case, we want to get rid of the minutes unit because we're trying to convert to seconds. So we're going to multiply by the conversion factor that has minutes in the denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. We multiply by 60 seconds, and this is getting divided by one minute. And just like before, we have a minutes unit being divided by a minutes unit. So those units will cancel out. So over here, we're left with 60 seconds divided by 1, which is just equal to 60 seconds. So this is equal to 6.2 multiplied by 60 seconds. 6.2 times 60 is equal to 372, so our final answer is 372 seconds. So to convert minutes to seconds, you just have to multiply your number of minutes by this conversion factor. And effectively, all we're doing is multiplying the number of minutes by 60, and that is the number of seconds you have. 
and once you do enough problems converting between minutes and seconds, you probably won't even need to write out the conversion factors like this. Because you'll find that to convert seconds to minutes, all you need to do is divide the number of seconds by 60. And to convert minutes to seconds, all you need to do is multiply the number of minutes by 60. But the conversion factors are valuable because they show you what's actually going on and why this works mathematically. Now let me just leave you with a couple of examples to try on your own to test your knowledge. Alright, so here are two example problems for you to try and I pasted the conversion factors down here so you can have another look at those if you like. And let me know what you get for these practice problems down in the comments. Anyways, I hope this video helped you understand how to convert between minutes and seconds. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, if you'd like to see uh, more examples of conversions, or if you have any other video requests in general. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Her